Setting the correct gap on a Wells Brookfield cone and plate instrument is crucial in achieving accurate results. Once the instrument is leveled and auto-zeroed, you first attach the spindle to the coupling nut using the supplied wrench. Remember to lift up on the spindle coupling whenever putting on or taking off spindles to prevent damage to the instrument. Once the spindle is attached, turn the toggle switch to the right. When the red pilot light appears, it means the electronic gap setting function is enabled. You then attach the sample cup to the instrument so the two locating pins straddle the tension bar. This is to be done without any material on the sample cup. You then lock the sample cup in place by moving the tension bar under the cup. If the yellow contact light appears, do not secure the tension bar. This means the spindle is already touching the sample cup and you must turn the micrometer clockwise until there is a space between the spindle and the cup. Once the spindle and cup lose contact, the yellow light will turn off. When the sample cup is secured and the yellow light is off, you can now set the gap. Slowly move the micrometer counterclockwise until you see the yellow light appear. This point where the spindle first touches the sample cup and completes the circuit is known as the hit point. Once you have found the hit point, you can adjust the reference marker so it aligns with the division scale mark on the micrometer. You then move the micrometer one division scale mark clockwise from the hit point. This will set the necessary gap of 5 ten thousandths of an inch and give you accurate readings. You can now turn off the toggle switch, take off the sample cup, and load your sample. Once you have loaded the correct volume of sample onto your cup, you can reattach it to the instrument. As long as you have not compromised the position of the micrometer, the gap will not change and your sample will be ready to test. Remember to set this gap before loading your material onto the sample cup. It is also important to turn off the toggle switch after the gap has been set as the electric current may have an effect on the sample.